So what is cloud code? Now cloud code is a term that's only really used in PaaS, okay? So it's not a term that you'd hear used with respect to other web development frameworks or other server-side frameworks. It's just really a PaaS term. And what does it mean? What I've showed you so far in this course is running a PaaS code, well, specifically PaaS JavaScript client code on the client device. So perhaps if the application you're building is a web application, I've showed you how to call the PaaS API and call the PaaS SDK from a browser. Or if you're building a mobile application, you would be running the PaaS a client library and running the PaaS code on the mobile device, right? But sometimes you want to run PaaS code on the PaaS server. And that's what cloud code is. That's what the mechanism of cloud code is in PaaS. It's how to run code on the server side. So really another way to call it is just server side code. Now, what are some of the reasons for wanting to do that? Well, number one is validation. So validation is when we want to make sure certain objects meet certain criteria. Let's say, for instance, the user object. We want to make sure that anytime someone saves the user object, it always has the name field set. Now, we could add that check every single place in the client code where we try and save a user object. You know, maybe it's in dozens of places. Or what we could do is add some cloud code in one place, which is the server side. So every time you try and save a user object, it checks to see if it's got a name field. If it doesn't, it returns an error. And if it does, it just lets the save continue. So validation is something that we commonly solve via server side code, via cloud code. And I'm gonna show you an example of that later on. The other reason is perhaps you've got some common or complex functionality. So instead of having large functions in your client code, you know, that is essentially data that you have to pass down when the user loads a JavaScript file up or the user installs your application. Why not just push all of that code and have it all on the server side and then in your client code, just call one line which calls the server side function. So just a way of compressing and reducing the size of your client application. Another reason to use cloud code is to use the master key. So remember the master key? So using the master key lets you bypass all the security measures, lets you ignore the access control lists and just make any changes to any object. It's like super user powers, it's like admin powers, right? So you can't use the master key in the client code because, well, for a variety of reasons, but the main one being that you never ever want to reveal the master key or, or put it embed it in your application or embed it in the in, in any client JavaScript in your web application. You want to keep it secret. So the only place that really should know about your master key is your server side, okay? The client code doesn't let you use the master key, but if you write cloud code, cloud code lets you use the master key. So I'll show you that in an example later on. Another reason to run on the server side would be perhaps the integration or using third-party dependencies. Again, the server side is just node. So you can install any node third party module and write complex functions without having to distribute that code in your application. So there might be some licensing issues to do with that, for instance. But more likely, you want to interact with some third party service. So we've interacted with the Amazon S3 service in a previous lecture. We couldn't have done that from client code, we could only have done that from the server side code. You might want to interact with perhaps Mailgun to send an email or perhaps interact with a payment processor or, or really anything else, any other third party service. It makes much more sense to interact with those third party services through your cloud code, through your server side code, not through your client code. Now, the main reason for doing that would be that you can keep all of your access keys and passwords, you can keep them secure on your server side. If you try to interact with those services, you might be able to do them if you um, added the correct libraries to your client application, but then you'd have to, in your client application, you'd have to put all of your access keys, all of your passwords. You'd have to give those, when somebody installs your application, they can perhaps decompile it and find out your passwords. Or if it's a web application, they can just view source and immediately get access to all of your security keys. However, if you to actually just move all that code, move all that functionality to the server side, you can keep all of that security, all of the access keys, all of the passwords, you can keep that secure on the server side. 
so that no one else can really can get access to them. So that's another reason why we'd want to use cloud code. And in this section, I'm going to go through a couple of examples of cloud code, including how to do validation, just how to call uh, functions on the server side. And I'm going to show you how to use the master key as well.